welcome to the Mad Show. Uh, uh, today I'm I'm filming and interviewing Randy. Uh, Randy, uh, he can be a little bit boring. Uh, he goes by himself and he, he doesn't say very interesting things. So uh, I'm a totally awesome editor. So uh, I'm going to edit it and, and make it really interesting. So uh, welcome. You're watching. The Mad Show. That intro, that intro was, was totally, totally awesome. 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 Alright, uh... Alright, it's Randy back here again. Uh, my brother Jake uh, sent me up this here recording of my sister Darlene uh, talking to me, so... I, I thought I'll, I'll play it and he asked me to listen to it, which I will. So let me let me hear what uh, my sister Darlene has to say. Uh, I know, sometimes I think I've already heard enough, but hey, she's my sister. <laughs> uh, see, I don't know. Oh yeah, the little triangle thing. Yeah, here we go. He's complaining about I always have to cut all the wood and things like that. Uh, <laughs> Complaining about always cutting the wood. All right, let me let me uh, let me explain this. All right, my sister Darlene is an absolute dear, but Aww. she lives in the city now. All right, and and folks who live in the city have a completely different perspective on life. First of all, when you live in the city, it is an illusionary, artificial life. You live in this like. I don't know, it's like a box made out of a bunch of phony materials, plastics, and who knows what. I live in a log cabin that was hewn by myself from the trees around me. <laughs> and secondly, they, they lose perspective. Okay, city folk, if they're cold, they just go and push a little button and blah, I'm nice and warm. <laughs> but, 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 but folks like me that live in the wilderness, if we don't have enough wood in the winter, we die. All right, we die. We die. We die. All right. All right. We die. We die. All right. We 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 die. We don't preserve enough food for us in the winter. We die. I'm not saying death is such a bad thing. That's the other thing. City folks lose contact with what death is about. I see death every year, all the time. I see birds die, like my, my raven that, yeah, you know, like trees, they, they die, and uh, fish, uh, they die so, so they can nourish your body. We die eventually. So uh, city folks just lose that perspective. Nothing bad about my sister. I mean, if you put me in the city, I would lose my perspective too, but no. I live out in the world. No television, no artificial nothing. <laughs> and I live, I live in the world. I live in the reality and the grandness of it. I, I'm sorry, I'm starting to sound a little bit too preachy. Anyway, I, I guess all folks have their own paths. I'm not faulting people who live in the city. All I'm saying is when you live in the city, you have a little different perspective. And you know, Speaking of getting food ready, winter's coming. I, okay, I got my firewood split, but uh, you know, the blackberries, I harvested a bunch of blackberries. I don't have a freezer up here. I can put them in or a refrigerator. So I have to take them out and dry them out in the last of the sun of the fall. Sprinkle a little bit of sulfur on them to keep the flies and maggots or, from laying eggs and creating maggots on them. And, and then when I uh, dry those blackberries in the sun, they'll last me around till February, March, April maybe, until the mold starts setting in. And uh, you know, I need to get to that, all right? I don't have time for these foolish, wasted time TV shows because if I don't get my blackberries preserved, I die from that. That's the reality. Okay, I've said enough. I've worked up an appetite yammering on here. I think I'll go eat some blackberries and I got some fish cooking up. Uh, sorry, Matt. I, I think I'm done filming. You, you can go back to your town and give whatever you got here. And, uh, all right. Bye.
Hey, uh, Randy, uh, how about a little dancing before before you go? You have been watching the match show. It's totally awesome. awesome.